what comes next where that's clearly rotten so what, what's your next that, step? that's clearly rotten so that has to come out entirely okay so we don't necessarily have the skills to make that happen but we know that there are local boat builders who can make that happen oh, cool. so part of the idea would be to put on a course where people would learn that skill set taught by a local boat builder they would pay for the course their paying of the course would pay for the boat builder to give the course pay for the, the lumber that needs to be uh, acquired in order to rebuild the stem post. And so the boat builder gets paid, the people learn the skill sets, and we get a new stem post for us. Oh, what a win-win so, for the community. So it's That's a really win-win for... And we have, uh, the first course will be a, a mast building course. There's two masts just over there, both of which are rotten. So they have to be uh, built new, so we have a boat building course in May of next year in Lunenburg at a spar shop by proper spar builders. And so we'll uh, put that course on. It's a two-week course where people will learn how to build a design and build uh, a proper mast for a schooner. Uh, and at the end of the day, the boat builder will get paid. The people will learn the skill set and develop two weeks of camaraderie with each other. Uh, and we'll end up with two masts for us. Yeah, Elsie and I, we go, we go back almost to day one. Bill Anderson had her. Second, uh, the second summer he sailed her. I met him and painted her for him, helped him launch her, and started sailing on her. The second, I went to I went to sea for gainful employ on tankers. And the second worst night I ever spent at sea was on that little ship. We were sailing down from Halifax and got in a 60 knot blow one night. Rode it out like a duck on a mill pond. That is a great little ship. Bill Anderson had the boat built in 1967. Sailed her that summer. In the fall, he had her hauled out on the beach down in Borgles Point. And I met Bill the following spring in my home bay when I was going to high school, and he hired me to paint Elsie. So I now painted her, and then we launched her, took her up to my home bay, and we rigged her. And Bill said, no, I'll go take her out for a sail. And I basically said to him, well, I said, I don't know much about sailing these boats. But he said, well, come along, it's easy. So I started, went for a sail on her. And that started my career in sailing schooners. Every spring, I get her ready, launch her, rig her, look after the boat all summer, and it would be ready for him to sail. He, his job, he was away a couple of weeks at a time, he'd come home for a day or two, and the boat had to be ready, jump aboard, take her for a sail. That went on for quite a few years. I finished high school, and then I went to sea, but I still looked after the boat every spring for him and got it ready and that. I tried to buy the boat from him a couple of times. I was away at sea when the boat was sold. Alfie Lonis bought her. I met Alf the second summer that he had her at the Lahave Yacht Club at Schooner Race Week. And he said, come sail with me. I'm actually probably the one constant with the boat right from new. That still exists. <laughs> me, and an, me and an old dilapidated boat. <laughs> So my name is Frank Denny, I'm the Executive Director of Sail Nova Scotia and it's wonderful to be here with the Schooner Rescue Association. Uh, something that we stumbled upon uh, by, quite by accident uh, about a year and a half, two years ago and since then we've been big supporters of the association. Uh, it's all about getting uh, more people, more opportunities for people to get out on the water and we think that the work that Jim and the rest of his team are doing is uh, is going to do that once these boats get restored. Uh, as we're hearing more and more, there are more and more boats like this around the cross province, 
that, uh, that are looking for some love, some restoration. And uh, with the work from the Schooner Rescue Association, I think we'll see quite the fleet of uh, old schooners lovingly restored by the team and out uh, offering uh, some sailing and some uh, excursion for sailors from across uh, Nova Scotia and Atlantic Canada. So congratulations to all the team and uh, we certainly look forward to working with you in the future. Why restore our schooners? Schooners part of the Atlantic Canadian soul. We developed our province, our economy, our entire community system was developed with schooners, be they trade schooners, three masts, or fishing schooners too. And they were designed for our waters and only our waters. These schooners are gorgeous in every aspect. But what I love most, they were symbols of economic prosperity and peace and designing with nature and not against it. The schooner is from an old German word, which is schön, means beautiful. And they are. They're also solar users. The sun makes wind. Wind is free. It's green. We've got to bring back schooners. We've got to bring back the whole idea of using the energy around us that's free. After all, when you're on the sea, there's a rule you learn quick, and it's one hand for you and one for the boat, or nobody survives. So get out there and help keep schooners alive. Thanks a lot.